stage uh, a really uh, wonderful uh, friend of Framelined uh, who is going to uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, uh, Kathy Wolf and Maria Lynn and Wolf Video. Uh, she is an acclaimed film critic, uh, an academic. Uh, she's uh, well known for being the person who coined the phrase New Queer Cinema. Will you please join me in welcoming up on stage B. Ruby Rich. Great to see a packed house for this. Um, you know, Wolf Video goes back. Uh, it's terrific to be celebrating a 25th anniversary. I've got to say, this is terrific. Uh, and um, it goes back uh, to the early days of home video. And um, I know some of you are too young to remember, and some of you are too old to forget, but, um, but there was a time when you couldn't watch any film that you wanted to see in your living room. And uh, what you could find uh, out there in uh, just pre-multiplex land was pretty damn limited. Um, there, in fact, there was only really an L and a G, an LGBT back then even. And, um, <laughs> and then there's this, great, there's this great origin story about Wolf Video, which is that Lily Tomlin uh, decided that, that her tapes needed more exposure in this new emerging market and um, chose Wolf uh, to be the distributor. And the Woo! rest, from then on, became history. Um, but I just want to say that distributing home video back in those days when Wolf started um, was an incredible service. Um, I really believe that home video in the 80s did for the um, LGBT community what paperback books had done in the, in the bus stations and I suppose in City Lights as well back, back in the 50s. Um, it, it, it finally brought within reach um, the work that spoke to us and finally made it possible for us to see in private what we still weren't being allowed to see in public. And I can't thank Wolf enough for that. distributed some of my favorite films. I, I, I'm sure I'm not alone, but The Big Eden is one of my favorite films of all time. And I have to say that I'm just finishing up my book on new queer cinema, and there's a whole chapter on Itty Bitty Tinny Committee. I'm a little lonelier on that one. <laughs> but I stick to it. It's, it's a fantastic, brilliant film. By hook or by crook, the same, brother to brother, same. And now with eight, the Mormon proposition, the really important word in the And um, Kathy and Maria haven't stopped with um, home video, obviously. Home video stopped on its own. They continued with DVD. They went into theatrical. And they've gone, as you saw, so fabulously on the big screen into all the small screens on our iPhones, our mobiles, our homes, our computer screens um, to really bring LGBT IQ content into the digital age and into all the screens that are proliferating around us, wherever they're going to end up. Nobody knows. But at least we know that we helped Wolf there to make sure that we're not left out, that we keep a space on the menu, and that the work that we want to see stays on offer. real treat. I've just flown back from the Provincetown Film Festival where Undertow, Contra Corriente, just won the audience prize last night. It's a fantastic film. I'm going to turn the podium over, but just for this once, I can't believe I'm in a theater where I really can encourage people to cry wolf. Thank you. <laughs>
proud I am of this moment. And I want to thank Jennifer and Casey and the entire Framelight Board for their support uh, and giving us this great honor. Uh, we consider Frameline our hometown festival, and we're so proud of the long-standing relationship that we have had and, and the number of films that have shown on these screens. So this is especially sweet for us. <clears throat> and tonight we're thrilled to be presenting to you Javier uh, Leon, uh, uh, Fuentes Leon's fabulous and exquisitely crafted film, uh, Contra Corriente. In, uh, in 1985, when Wolf was just a, a um, the lighting's not quite right here. <laughs> in 1985, when Wolf was just a vision, something that I thought was needed, something that offered uh, me a chance to set my life, my work, and my politics all on the same course. Um, it was, it was just actually a leap of faith, and uh, somehow I had the good sense to take it. When I look at Wolf, how it began, and what it's become, the largest, most recognized, exclusive distributor of lesbian and gay movies in the world. I'm so proud of what we've achieved and what a difference we've made in the lives of LGBT people, and in the way that we've made images of our lives visible and accessible to the world at large, and even more importantly, in the way that those authentic images have empowered so many individuals to be themselves. 25 years ago, when Wolf was nothing more than a good idea, this was my best hope for what it might become. And as proud as I am of Wolf, I can't begin to claim its successes as mine alone. The reputation that Wolf enjoys for quality, dependability, integrity, are the tributes to the amazing, hardworking women and men who comprise our workforce, known collectively and with great affection as the Wolf Pack. Could they stand, please? But when we hear the Castro Hall, how we know we're home. 